Hey guys, welcome. Uh, today I'm going to bring to you a collection video of my Madewell bags. I've done this once before, but since then I've added, let's see, one, two, three, maybe four more bags to my collection. Um, a couple of these are new with tags and I'm still deciding. I'm pretty sure that one of them is going back, but I'm just not totally in love with. But anyway, I'll go through each of them. I'll try to be brief going through the ones that I've already uh, reviewed for you more quickly. So um, let's start with the ones that I've already reviewed before and that are more traditional, I guess I should say, as far as made well goes. They, they always carry the transport tote. Um, it's kind of iconic. Um, it's what made well is known for. Um, so anyway, this is their original transport tote, an English saddle. Um, I don't carry this tote on, not a whole lot, just because it's um, it's pretty big and it's it's really more more space than what I need on a daily basis. And it's great for like um, if you have a lot to carry. If you're going like, I will take it like with my son's stuff in it. If we need like the switch one day or the iPad and stuff like that that he needs, we'll we'll take this. But it's not an everyday bag for me. But this bag, um, if you're not familiar with it, is unlined and it has just one open area. It has one uh, zippered side pocket there, which is nice for, uh, it doesn't have a key clip. I don't believe any of these do, but that's a nice place to tuck your keys away or your cell phone. But as you can see, it's very roomy and it's very floppy. Once filled, the bag has a little bit more stability, but as you can see, it's kind of just flops over otherwise. So we'll put that one back there again. Um, and that's the original, uh, let's focus, okay, the original transport tote. And then this one is the medium transport tote. Also an English saddle. And I wanna mention that all of the Madewell bags, uh, leather just has slight variations. And that includes actual color too. Um, even though they're both English saddle, this one is a little bit lighter than that one. That one seems just a little bit more, a um, little warmer, warmer tone. But this one is almost exactly the same, uh, smaller size. Does have the two top handles, which is very convenient. But this front pocket makes all the difference. <laughs> I love the front pocket on this one. I think it makes it so easy just to tuck your cell phone away and, and just know where it is immediately just to reach in there and grab your cell phone and this one does come with um, a detachable strap unlined also and that detachable strap there on the d-rings is um, for me it works as crossbody I guess it would depend on your your body frame and your height but it works just fine for a crossbody and I think that's it's a pretty generous uh, crossbody or shoulder or crossbody strap, I should say. But, um, pretty basic. I mean, it's just an open, open toe. Uh, I feel like it has a little bit more structure than the large one, um, just based upon its dimensions. Maybe the the bottom is a little, I don't know if the bottom is even, is wider, I'm not sure on that. But you can see that some, and you'll notice this as I go through the bags, some of them have more um, pebbling and grain than others, and some others are more of a smoother leather. And that's just, it just varies so much from hide to hide. Um, this one's very soft, it is broken in, and that's one thing that with Madewell, you do have to carry them for a while. Uh, when you first see them in the store, a lot of times they are pretty structured and a little bit, um, I don't know, a little bit rigid, I guess I should say. But they do they do wear very well and um, soften up really nicely. Okay, so next. Um, I'm actually forgetting one. I, I forgot it in there, but in the other room. But anyway, this is the, um, I've had this one for a long time too. This is the mini uh, transport. And, oh goodness, I want to say this is the, the crossbody, mini transport crossbody. Um, it's basically this same bag, the medium, in just a really small size. It has the same pocket there in the front. 
just on a much smaller scale. And it does have the uh, rivet here that will, that you can close it. Don't use that a whole lot. And it has the crossbody strap as well. Nice little top handles. Um, basically, those are just to be worn, I guess, over your wrist um, and forearm. I wouldn't say that it would go up any higher than that. And then it also has the zippered pouch inside. And this one is totally unlined as well. And I bought this one um, pre-loved off of a Mainwell BST group on Facebook. Um, got a really good deal on it. It was already broken in, so it was a win-win for me. And this one has more of a smoother grain. Um, I'm sure you can see that in, in comparison to that last one that had a lot of pebbling. This one is definitely more smooth and it has more of a sheen. As far as Madewell bags are concerned and all of these different leathers that I have here, this is my favorite. This is how I wish all of their bags were. This is my favorite. I love this bag. So that one is um, probably going to be permanently in my collection. And next, let's see, we'll go with this one. This is also in the transport family. This is the crossbody transport. Um, and you can see that it has little holes all over it. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of this bag I'm stalling. I can't remember the name. I will, um, I will get back with that or I'll put it, put it in, the, um, in the notes at the end of the video. But this one is also an English saddle. It's quite a bit darker. I bought this one um, pre-loved from Poshmark. So I got a really good deal on this one as well. I have another one that's identical to this one. Um, it's just the newer version. Um, it doesn't have the, goodness, I cannot think of what this is even called. It doesn't have the holes all through it. It's just, it's just solid. I did have it uh, personalized as well but it has the recessed zipper like it goes down a little bit and then the uh, d-rings are inset on the inside so it's the newer version of the mini or the smaller crossbody transport and i didn't bring it out here honestly because i have it buried like in a drawer in my storage um, container because i ended up ruining it with hand sanitizer so i don't i don't reach for it so that's the reason why i forgot to bring it out here but anyway this one has um when I bought this one, it did not come with the crossbody strap. And I can easily just grab, you know, like the strap from this one and put it on there and it will match just fine, even though it's a little bit darker uh, English style. But it didn't come with it and uh, Madewell was having a really great sale on there. Uh, they had all kinds of straps, like most of these bags that have a crossbody strap, it is detachable and you can switch it out. They have a lot of woven fabrics and they have this braided leather, which I thought was really gorgeous. It reminds me of Patricia Nash. So anyway, I picked this one up for 25% off. And I love how it's darker too, so I feel like it matches this bag better than the, um, the traditional colors of the nose straps. So um, I went with that one. I think it looks really good. I haven't carried it that way yet because I've still got the tag on it. But anyway, it's just a really simple bag. And I love that it's unlined. The other bag that I was speaking of that's identical to this one that doesn't have um, the perforation, uh, little diamond cut holes all through it, that one has a lining. It has a cotton or a canvas lining, which is a really dark gray, um, almost, almost black lining. And I love the fact that this one was unlined because that's my favorite. So I couldn't pass this bag up. I just had to have it. It doesn't have a zipper on the um, pocket inside. It's just a slip pocket. It's all leather as well. And for this size, this bag holds a lot. I think it's so cute for summer. Really cute. But anyway, when it came to me, it came like, I think the person had just recently conditioned it or something because it was sticky. I mean, it was so shiny and sticky, like, oily, really kind of gross. So I cleaned it with Apple Care products, which are my absolute favorite. I think they're the most gentle, especially for vegetable tan leathers. Um, <clears throat> they don't darken the, the leather at all and they just, and they're not harsh. 
Um, you might see just a little bit of color transfer on like a white cloth, but it's so minimal and it's so gentle. I, I highly recommend Apple Cleaners and I bought that from Amazon. So anyway, that's that it has a little leather pool tab. I think it's a great little bag for summer. Okay, next. Um, I already did a review on this one by itself. This is the uh, Madewell um, Mini Transport Duffel and it also has um, a crossbody strap. This one is really cute and uniquely shaped. Um, I don't find myself reaching for it that often. Um, it's not my favorite. I don't really know why. Honestly, I have no specific reason. Um, maybe it's because I have to strategically place my items in there, kind of like, you know, to get it to fit, but they do fit. And it has um, a canvas lining there, as you can see. And that's also not one of my favorite features of some of the Madewell bags, but I have this one for sale on Poshmark right now. All right, moving on. Oh, and you can see that this is this English saddle as well, and it's um, it's a really nice soft leather. Um, it's more pebbled, like my uh, medium transport. I think it's it's not really super smooth. It's more of the, the, the larger grain and pebble, so. All right, and that one has, um, you can use a fun strap on that one too. It's nice. And then, let's see, then we have the pouches. I have two of these. Um, one is noticeably prettier than the other, in my opinion. Um, I got these at the exact same time. I've had them for a couple years, or maybe not quite two years but close to it. And I've, I've used them the same amount. Um, this one just has a really nice sheen. Um, it just broke in beautifully. It has some really nice stretching and banging on there. And this one just really didn't, I don't know, it didn't soften up quite as much as this one. And I love that this one has the sheen. All right, on to the next one. This is the Prague. Um, this one is just recently sold out on Madewell completely, I believe. Um, last I checked, they had some black ones in low quantity, but the um, the English saddle was was sold out. But um, you can probably find one of these on Poshmark relatively easy, I'm guessing. So this one is um, really cute. I think this one can be dressed up a little bit more than some of the others. Um, but it still, it still has a casual look too. I like the top handles and I do see pictures of these that have been broken and this one has not been broken in that the handles will eventually fall to the side. So, and that's fine. I'm totally okay with that as well. And I like the little um, fringe pulls on the zippers. This bag is um, not detachable. One of the few, I'm looking around, I think this might be the only one that I have that doesn't have a detachable strap. I just, when I got this one, I just fell in love with it because it has such a nice smell. <laughs> this bag smells really strongly of leather and I don't know why, but it's just, it has a really nice scent and it has, um, and I just like the veining and stretch marks in this one. I feel like that's not something you always see on Madewell bags and when you do, it's kind of special. So you can see that it has those marks there on the side too. Just really pretty. Um, and it's attached here with an O-ring. Um, it's a brass O-ring with the adjustable strap. And this one does not fit crossbody. Um, it just doesn't work. I mean, even, you know, unless you're like really short, I'm 5'5", five five, this one does not work crossbody. It doesn't look great. It just hits you really up, really up too high. And I like that it has a top zipper, that it's not recessed. For some reason, that matters to me. Don't know why I like it that way. And then this one is unlined. This one has a lot of space. Really, it's, it's really a nice size without being overwhelmingly big. Oh gosh, I wish you could smell it. I mean, the smell just, oh, it's amazing. And then it has the slip pocket as well that's not a zipper. Okay, so this is getting really lengthy. I need to hurry. Sorry, guys. Um, but that's the Prague. Love that one. And then these are the two that I just got um, that are new with tags. 
and I'm pretty sure that I'm returning this one. Um, this is the else. This is the crossbody elsewhere tote. It is sold out online right now. Um, it's relatively new. It was just released, so that doesn't mean they. It won't be available again. It probably will come back in lower quantities. But this is in the color Desert Camel. I think it is so nice. I love this color. It's like, it's still, you know, close to this color, but it's just a little bit um, more of an orange undertone. It just makes it a little bit warmer, less red. I really like the color of this bag. And it has those fringe pieces on each side. And this one also has some really nice stretch marks and veining. You can kind of see those lines when you turn it a certain way. And it has the detachable crossbody strap. And this is a really thick strap, really pretty. It's adjustable. Uh, one side is fin unfinished. Let's see if I can make that focus. Um, and then it has the cute little top handles. And then the inside of this bag is unlined absolutely gorgeous and it does have a zipper on top really cute little bag so and then last is the Sydney so this is a brand new bag just released um, by Madewell they have a Sydney tote and then this is this this is the smaller version um, this is also in Desert Camel, and it's hard to describe this one. This one is, it's very pebbled, um, but it is super soft. Like, it almost reminds me of coach quality leather, like back in the day, like when it was really great. I mean, this is super soft, and this is brand new, so I just know that this will get even better in time. Um, it does have the knotted strap which is a really cute feature um, detachable and this is really cute how it's um, attached it's detached there by a little um, not o-ring but like an insert of an o-ring in the actual material which is really cute and the strap is not adjustable but it does fit crossbody on me hits really nicely um, right at the hip maybe just below and I'm 5'5 five five, as I said before so I think this bag works really nice for my height. Um, it's unfortunate that it's not adjustable for someone who is taller. So that might be something you want to check out um, in store or they do offer free returns too. So, And then look at this. Like this is so strong. It almost, it's a good thing and a bad thing because it almost like snaps back before you even have a chance to get inside the bag. And then it has these little integrated top handles. I think that is so cute. And it has the stretch marks and everything. It's really soft. It has uh, an unfinished seaming, which I'm not sure how I feel about that. I kind of like it and I kind of don't. So, not sure about that. But for a little bag for like summer and stuff, this is really, this would be a good little vacation bag when you're out walking around and stuff and you just need something small. But all of my stuff fits in here and I actually put my stuff in just to show you what it fits. Um, you can see that it, it's, wow, I won't even stay open. <laughs> but it fits a full size wallet, um, makeup pouch, there's some hand sanitizer in there and hairspray in a comb. So. That's, that's pretty roomy and it's unlined. I love it. So this side has one slip pocket, which will be perfect for a cell phone. Really cute. I don't know. I can't decide on this one. I, I'm thinking I really like it, but then I'm thinking I have a lot of bags already. So anyway, I'm sorry this got so lengthy, um, but I just wanted to go through each one quickly give you an overview. I know it wasn't in detail or didn't explain dimensions or anything like that, but if you have any of those specific questions, um, feel free to leave me a comment below. I try to look at all of those and reply. So, and I appreciate you watching, so have a great day. Thanks. Goodbye.